let's start over here where we can take out some push clips that connect this cover to the bumper cover. So with your trim tool, pop out the center first, lift it up, and then the rest of the push clip come along. There should be five push clips at the front here. And once those are off, your bumper cover is disconnected. On the corner of the bumper covers where the bumper meets the fender, you'll see a Phillips head screw. So go ahead and remove that. There's one on each side. Hopefully they're not too rusty. There we go. Do the same to the other side. You have to take out from underneath. Also a Phillips head. If you follow the bumper cover along, you'll see a push clip over here. Most likely these push clips underneath are going to be extra stuck because of sand and debris that makes its way in there over the years. There we go. Got it. Take this out. And now do the same to the other side. And there should be push clips, three of them along here. Mine are missing, but if you have yours, should be one here, one in the middle, one on the other side. Now we have to disconnect the fog lights, so pull down on the splash shield that sits here. And if you, if you have fog lights, that is, press on the connector and unplug the bulb from the socket. There we go. Do this on both sides, of course. Now grab the bumper cover on each side, pull it off of the fender. It's got some pretty stiff clips here. At this point, there are four clips uh, that are attaching the bumper to the headlight bracket and you have to just kind of do a quick solid movement and pull out on it. That'll get the bumper cover off of here. Do the same to the other side. And now you can pull the bumper cover straight off of the vehicle. So to take this bracket off, you don't need to take the headlight out. There will be three mounting bolts, all 10 millimeters that hold this bracket onto the headlight and onto the frame. I'm going to start over here. There's one all the way in the back in this little crevice. There will be another one right in here that goes straight up. I'm going to have to take this one out as well. And another one on the end right over here on the fender. Take that out and you, you can pull this bracket straight out. There we go. There it is. Take the new bracket, line it up, position it. There we go. I'm going to put in the side bolt first. I'm not going to tighten it yet. I just want this to be held on. Line this up and put in the front bolt. Snug that up. Now put in the one that goes from bottom to top here. Snug up the one on the side. Now you can take your bumper cover, line it up with the body, with the headlights. Make sure you don't scratch the headlights. And once it lines up with the brackets underneath the headlights, it should fall right into place. Okay, give it a nice push, just like that. On the side here, it'll line up with the fender. Make sure it, the uh, bumper cover is sitting over those clips and then press it on. They're pretty stiff, so you have to give them a good hit and then do the same to the other side. Let's put these clips in here. Let's reattach the screws on the side here. Make sure they're nice and snug. Do the same to both sides. Don't forget to plug in the fog lights. Do that to both sides. I'm going to put back this screw over here. Okay, put back whatever push clips you had, lock them in.